Let's review a clinical case involving a 68-year-old woman with breast implant using the Coney viewer. Imaging breast implants with breast CT does not require breast manipulation or any implant displacement. The patient undergoes the same scanning procedure as anyone else, and breast CT provides excellent coverage of the implant. When the study is opened in the Coney viewer, if there is only one series in the study, the default MPR plus 3D layout is displayed. In this layout, from the top left to the bottom right, the planes are transverse view, sagittal view, chrono view, and 3D rendered image. Default window level, projection type, slab thickness, and zoom ratio are preloaded. We can double click any plane to expand that view to full screen. We begin the image review by selecting a preferred view, for example, the sagittal view. We can make necessary adjustment with the tools provided by the viewer. Now we can use the browse tool to start browsing from medial to lateral. The default window and level are set up for soft tissue review, so the implant usually shows, appears very bright with such soft tissue settings. If we need to focus on the implant itself, we can choose other window and level settings to highlight the implant details. As we proceed, we start to notice some micro calcifications in the upper quadrant, right next to the implant. We can zoom in to see more details. These calcifications are generally fine and pleomorphic, measuring around 100 to 300 microns in size and exhibiting a segmental distribution. In breast CT, the implant does not disrupt the visibility of microcalcifications. We can co-register the suspicious area and examine the same location in other views to obtain more details. Pathology results have confirmed that this calcification group represents ductal carcinoma in situ.